Hello everyone, Kira this side. Today I am going to demonstrate what me and Visit have done so far. So our job was to integrate Dialogflow Medi chatbot with the front end of the website. Hence, we required to work on API in order to connect both of them. And we found out that there is already Google Dialogflow API which is connected with our chatbot. So here we tried testing the API using the Postman and trying to figure out all the tools and methods that can be implemented in the front end so as to talk with this API. So first of all, we created a Google Cloud account and here in the Team Project Avengers, we enabled the Dialogflow API so that we can take all the credentials from here and use them as keys for the authorization purpose. So here's configure new token. We have filled all, all of the details. First, our task was to get the in intents from the dialog flow. So this is the URL where our team members had created agents and intents in the dialog flow chatbot. So here we are trying to get it using a new token. Okay, so I'll need to use get a new access token so that I will get the authorization. So from here we can see that we got all the intents that are already created along with all the details into it so our next job was to communicate with the bot and we did it with the post method using this URL where this is the project name then we wrote agent sessions this is the session ID which I have created for now and session is there so that we can talk to the bot continuously and it remains there for around 30 minutes so in draw i wrote a code something first i can write it here hi let's get access token So I got a response from the chatbot. So he's asking what I do for today. So here if I'll write I am in pain and send I'll get a response asking for the patient ID. So for now I am writing test one as the patient ID so as to converse with the bot so now he is asking where do I feel the pain so here I can see that the bot has entered the test ID the patient ID as test one like this we can converse with the bot and here we are conversing with the chat bot not directly but with the help of an API so now our next job was to update the patient ID using while talking with the bot and able to retain it throughout the session. So our session is KK for now. And to update it, I have written a code in the body where I have written a patient ID as Kira2 and so that i can update it from here we can get the context name so that we can update the session 
and if I'll try sending so now I from here I can see that my context has been updated and as with the session ID here too so let's try let's try getting this context first so if i'll try to access this context i i will get the updated one here now this context has been updated with the session kk to kirat 2 now let's try to chat with the bot so he was asking us about on your body where do you feel the pain because i have updated the patient id now if i write face from here you can see he has entered all of the details face as well as the updated id into the conversation now he is asking where did i notice the pain first so we can continue working with the bot like this so the next issue which we faced was it was like we need to figure out how our chatbot can get to know the patient id without asking it from all the patients because it is a security issue so that no person can enter wrong id as well as no person can become someone else we figured out that this can be done using creating context so here we had created a context which i named as hello this is the url with the lifespan count two and here i have entered the patient id as hello world so that when i'll create this context let's name it name it as a b c d so if i'll create this so it has created a context using all these details so when a person now logins to the system now he will do is hi and the session is abcd which i have created here you can see that in this session the bot already has the patient id as hello world into it so that there would be no need of asking the patient about his id so currently now we are working on the feature of voice to text where the idea behind this is if we are able to send an audio file and get a response from the api as text from the chatbot then we can use the same methodology by sending audio from the front end to the dialog flow to get a response so in order to do that we figured out that there is a form data where we entered the where we changed the text to file and uploaded an audio dot wave here if i try to import the audio Here it's showing it's the wrong format. So currently we are working on it so that we are able to send the audio from here. And the, if the chatbot bot is able to reply back using a text, then we can uh, follow this. Now we are able to solve the issue of voice to text function. After doing a lot of research, we came across this site of Detect Intent 
where we came to know about different fields it has. Earlier, we were using query input from for sending and receiving messages from chatbot. And we also came across that there is an input audio field which can send up to one minute of audio speech as a request. So in order to write the code for this, we came across a JavaScript code where it was sending the audio file and send it as a part of request. So because we are using a postman, so we took this code into our postman and we actually deleted this part here in our body raw json so here you can see we had took the code from here and in place of input audio we figured out that we cannot send video or audio directly from postman so there is a base 64 encoding audio content from here there are different command lines code for different operating systems so because i was using windows so i used this code and copy pasted it in my command line filling the input file which i was named of my which was the name of my audio file and the output file which we get got from here so if the audio file name is book a room and its format is wav wave so we need to write it as output as book of room dot b64 in order to encode it in base 64 so after doing that we got an output something like this so this we copy pasted in our input audio and after setting the authorization when we tried sending it we got that you can see the query text was i am in pain so the video we put here was i am in pain and we encoded it in base 64 so as to get the output of pain assessment from the chatbot so this was it so the problem was that we cannot send the video audio directly but we can we need to encode it thank you